Oh, what's up everybody? Um, I'll be posting my video soon on what I plan on building for the Pulse Motor Build-Off. This is a quick uh, kind of question and answer follow-up video from the original um, Pulse Motor Build-Off Let's, uh, Let's Go Time video. Um, I just wanted to quickly share with you um, the reason that we kind of want you to post something about what you plan on doing. Um, some of you are like ordering parts and stuff and you don't have anything to really show so whenever you kind of get stuff in a pile you know just kind of film it and discuss kind of what you plan on doing um, and again we want to do that also because um, it, it shares the story of where you started and kind of where you're heading and where you you've ended at at the end of the pulse motor build off the, the storyline of, of getting there and sharing what you've learned and sharing what you you that didn't work what didn't work what did work that kind of knowledge is actually part of the reason that we like to do this pulse motor build off. There's a bug. And so that's kind of the reason. Now, Peter Hall Effect has uh, joined the games this year. And I want to throw a video of what he posted and kind of give you an idea of what we're looking for because Peter has pretty much done that um, exactly kind of what we asked and kind of what we're looking for and kind of just the, the reality of pulse motor build off and sharing knowledge and stuff like that. So I just wanted to kind of briefly update you there. Also, I kind of wanted to briefly update you on um, um, some of you may have had a question about what you're actually trying to build. And the pulse motor description that I give you is kind of what you're trying to build. Something that pulses, you can be anything, doesn't have to be electricity. And it just kind of has to, uh, usually it has to rotate in theory that you something would rotate in the end. But um, as long as you're pulsing a system, um, and it's the motor is kind of described as something doing work. So if it's spinning a rotor or flywheel or whatever, then it's kind of doing work. It's doing its own work, if you will. So it does have to kind of be a rotating device of some kind. But it doesn't have to be electricity. It can be whatever. And then also I want to give you, uh, I kind of forgot in the video, I started talking about the two categories. One category will actually be like, beginners and the most use of resources and stuff like that and then the other category will be like advanced users and a higher higher level more knowledgeable more experienced builder people so there's the two kind the two categories are kind of that's what they are and then me and Tin Man will actually be picking who goes where upon what we kind of know about what you've done or if you've never done anything or if you're a newbie we've never seen you before etc so lots of chances to win especially if you're a newbie and you really don't have a clue what you're doing that's alright if if I also wanted to share if your pulse motor at the end of this competition doesn't work okay then make a three minute video of describing what you've done what you've accomplished and where you were at in the process of when it didn't work and enter that as a pulse motor build off entry because those are actually very valuable and uh, we like to see that. We like. We don't just want people who have a working pulse motor to enter. We want anybody to enter anything that they've done because just trying is actually the best thing that you can do. Some advanced, experienced builder builds something <clears throat> astronomical and just amazing. Hey, that is great. But if you think you can't win this competition, well, you might not win it if you don't enter doesn't matter what it is just enter the competition of what you've done and, and where you got so quick little update and then I'll be posting my little video about what I plan on doing next so enjoy <clears throat> good luck to you guys peace and love to you all and I'll talk to you soon yeah alright see you guys woo woo good afternoon everybody I'm uh, preparing here for the pulse molder build off I Got me a twin coil here out of an old television screen and I'm going to be using these both together. Um, they're going to be some of my pulse coils for the motor and uh, just getting ready for it this year. I am really going to compete and try my best to put something out there. Uh, last year I really wanted to give it a try and I um, didn't have the guts to do it but this year accumulating what I learned last year I should be able to do it and uh, anyways thanks guys just uh, updating you and I'll keep you posted on what's going on I'm gonna turn these two coils here into a bifiler coil and stick it on that little spool right there alright thanks guys <laughs> 